early morning walk. Good morning. I'm up to see the sunrise. <laughs> I wanted a different feeling for the today. So, up praying. I'm up praying, walking into the sun. Hope you guys have a wonderful day today. It feels so good out here. It's not hot. So I may start doing this more. But getting it in. Remember, we love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Peace out. Hello, hello. Oh, hey, y'all. What's going on? Here we are. Another day. Another few steps. Yep. Enjoying uh, some time out. We don't have any sun out. No, no sun today. It's well, it's out, but the it's, clouds it's are on covering. top of the clouds. <laughs> clouds are covering. So, like when you fly, it's the coolest thing when the plane breaks the breaks the clouds and there's crime. It is awful and terrible underneath and break the clouds and the sun is like super bright <laughs> bouncing off the clouds. It's cool. It's the coolest thing. That's how it is around us today. Yes. You gotta break the clouds. It feels good, but it's a little humid. Humid. It was kind of closed in actually. <laughs> so go. I can feel the summer weather on its way. Yeah, it's summertime. I don't know where you live, except like in Minnesota. Uh, <laughs> sorry for you if you uh, live in the I snow. That, I don't feel that sorry for you though, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's different. Sometimes people can't help where they are born. Well, you know, but you can move. <laughs> You've got one of the greatest airports in the country here. People move, move here all the time. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop moving here. Stop. We're full. <laughs> We're all closed. No vacancies. Okay. I hear a car. Hmm. But y'all look dirty. I'm sorry? Y'all look dirty. The screen is dirty. <laughs> Had to clean y'all off a little bit. <laughs> All right, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> so what do you have on your mind today, Mr. Lawson? Oh, same thing I have on my mind every day. Enjoy in, enjoy the day as best you can. Move forward. Get a little bit better. You know, I was able to talk to a, a, one of my students yesterday. Uh, about improvement uh, and she doesn't believe that she's getting better fast enough but well a lot of people don't well the idea <laughs> is like weight loss like, it's, it's everything it's, it's, like, <laughs> it's like everything and, and the idea is you don't have to get there now if you can get just a little bit better a little bit day better than you were yesterday that's all you, you know what and, and you just enjoy that you just you just appreciate that just get a little bit better every day that's it because improvement is a goal. And if improvement is a goal, then you will be happy about your goal every day. Every time you go out to do it, every time you put the instrument to your face, every time you, you, you go for a walk, every time you pick up some weights, every time you do whatever, you get a little bit better. Yes. Every time you make better choices with food. Constant and never ending improvement. <laughs> C-A-N-I. -A -C -A <laughs> Taking us, sometimes it takes a while too. <laughs> well, it's going, it's going to take a while, and that, and that's the thing, you know. People, people all will say, "Oh, you're so patient. How are you so patient?" I'm not. I'm not any more patient than I than I was when I was 20. I'm not. Seriously, I'm not. I just understand that some some things now just take time. What you learn is that it, it takes, just time. takes time. <laughs> you know, a three minute egg you can't have in 35 seconds. You cannot. You can't, it takes three minutes. And you know what? <laughs> it took years to do the damage you did. 
you don't know what you you don't know what you don't know and 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 and, and you have to live life and you can't go back and blame yourself for what you should have done what you could have done because it's all in the past that's useless and just like with christ you have to forgive yourself you start now start now because you go back and cry to the lord constantly about i did this wrong yeah okay. forgive me father all right and all right, once you ahead. say that go ahead it's done go ahead and uh, and then sometime you'll go back. Forgive me for the same thing. What are you talking about? <laughs> he doesn't know what you're talking about. <sighs> so it's the same with yourself. You have to forgive go yourself. Just, just go on. Start start now. Start now and go on. We can all sit around going, yeah, you know, if I had done this when I was my twenty, if I had invested in in um, McDonald's yeah, yeah, or Apple, yeah, you'd be rich now, but you didn't. You didn't. And maybe you'd be rich, maybe you wouldn't. I don't know. Are we going or? No, we're not going the whole way. Because <laughs> well, um, it looks like it's going to rain at any minute. It might. But it might, might and not. it might not. That's what Alexa says. Alexa, it's going to rain. <laughs> It might rain, which means <laughs> might not, <laughs> which is Florida. She, she never gives good answers which on the Florida. weather. It might rain, might not. <laughs> it probably won't rain today. What's that mean? There's a... <laughs> probably won't. 20%, 27% chance. So if it rains, eh, I kind of told you it might. <laughs> Stupidest thing ever. It's going to be the easiest job in the world on television. Be, be a me meteorologist. I mean, be the weather guy. Well, looks like it might rain today. Might not if we get lucky. Back to you, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Stupidest thing ever. And sometimes it looks like they get sad when what? we a hurricane is coming. Hurricane well, coming. Because they can't use their toys. No. They can't be on TV, you know, 24 7. <laughs> uh, looks like we, the storm missed us. Dang. <laughs> But, um, you know, I'm always like, mm, might rain, may not. It's every day, really. Okay. So, I just want to say thank you guys for, if you're a new subscriber. And we got lots of those. Yes. Appreciate that. A bunch of y'all. Thank you so much. Uh, you can go check me out on Facebook, on Instagram, and... TikTok before it gets banned. TikTok. <laughs> I don't know. Might, might not. I don't do the TikTok shop and all of that stuff. No, because you got to buy that crap first. <laughs> Did y'all know that? Those people have to buy that crap yes. first? So even if it's booty, they get one sale from the people who are trying to advertise it. What is that? But uh, thank you. Appreciate that. For being loyals and coming back and watching. Now I can set my goal for a thousand by the end of the year. Yeah, we're gonna make a thousand by the end of the year, no doubt. Thank you. And at the end of the year last year, I was hoping I would make five hundred. So God is good. What's 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 the trick? Keep going. Consistency. Keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you weren't. So you so you so you fell off. So you weren't consistent. Okay. Start now. Start today. Start over. Start. Let's go. That's so, the trick. If, if there's a trick, that's it. We're trying to be consistent. Just be consistent. And accountable to you. Yep. So, as always. Go on. <laughs> Your turn. Go. Always remember. Never and forget. We love, love you. you and there's, there's nothing, nothing you can do about, about it. it. Thank Peace. you. Well, good morning. It's another morning walk. Early morning. Seeing the sun rise. It's not out. It's behind clouds today. But cloudy day. Ain't going to stray my way. <laughs> I'm getting it in. And on my second lap, might I add. 
morning walks I used to do years ago and I kind of forgot how refreshing it can be. I've got to start changing and go back to mornings because it's getting hot here in Florida, but uh, feeling good. Make sure you get your walk in today or your jog, whatever makes you feel better and helps you to move. Debbie is feeling good and I can start at work on a different kind of attitude. Hubby is in bed, <laughs> but I'm gonna take him with me to the park today. Keep my hubby in prayer. Thank you for watching. We love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Peace. I think you believe in the God of the TV. <laughs> I think you believe in the God of TikTok. So I so I, I thought and I'm thinking for a while, it's um it's not Well good morning. I'm here. I just stepped outside onto my porch with my beautiful plants. <laughs> but uh, got another workout in this morning with Kamora Ferry. <sighs> Again, I'm taking a break from the pavement, but I think hubby and I are gonna go to the park today during my lunch hour. And we'll take just a little stroll on the grass to get that moving, but my workout was good. Got over 2,000 and some steps, <coughs> close to three. Feeling good, had an amazing weekend, gave my body a little rest. Uh, I did do some yard work though, <laughs> but that's like therapeutic for me. Um, I love my yard and my plants and stuff, so cleaned off my little porch here in the front and um, rejuvenated my plants. My plants have names, yes. We have Lily and Polly and <laughs> Chrissy, who's a Christmas cactus. And then we have Velvet here, who sometimes, Vel Velvet just don't want to add cooperate sometimes, but she's a little straggly. But Chrissy over there is doing well. Chrissy's going to get a new home this week because I'm going to replant her. Um, but great morning. It's cool outside. But I just couldn't get on my knees to <laughs> give, give that pain to my knees again. And actually, I think my little video that I do on YouTube gives me more of a workout it's it sweats me out so I'm gonna be doing that three times this week and then possibly some uh, weight training on Tuesdays and Thursday because I have a, some weights and stuff body's feeling great <sighs> still it I'm doing weight loss in a slow motion kind of way it um, I'll have a week where I'll lose three then I'll have a week where it's just sitting and another week sitting and then but it's all in the process I can tell that I'm losing inches so that's a good thing but it's time now for me to get into the word with the Lord make sure you're having a uh, some time downtime for yourself um, study the Word of God let it meditate in you I always I'm telling everybody that the meditation and the Word of God and talking to the Holy Spirit and praying for others praying for others is so important because you're sowing into somebody else and you you reap that back in if you want your body healed heal somebody else's body help somebody else's body heal by praying to the Lord for them and that's my Wagovi <laughs> and Manjaro to get this weight off because my doctor wanted me to do some shots but 
I'm going to I'm going to stick to the the natural way for right now. And so far it's working. Thank you for watching. We're a little behind on our videos, but we're going to get it out to you. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Hello, hello. Hey y'all. Let's as far as it'll go there it's a beautiful what is today Tuesday it's Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday and we're out with our special guest <laughs> some of the previous videos that I talked with you guys that I was not walking as much Due to my knee was kind of acting up so I've been doing getting up in the morning and doing bit uh, YouTube exercises and um, which way we going okay cuz somebody at our seat <laughs> so that's why you haven't seen me out here And then Mr. Willie has been having a little issue with his hip. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little let down when you're trying to get your body back. So you just make it forward a But we're taking it in stride. Move on. And still out here being accountable to you guys. I'm going to try to work on a video putting up a, a vlog tonight. Yep. Tomorrow. It, it'll be up tomorrow. <laughs> I work on it tonight. It'll be up tomorrow. Sorry for all the noise, but we're out on the main highway. We didn't take the park route this time. Because I got to get back and try to work on some meals for the week but we're we're out here <laughs> they say we're out here in these streets we're out here in the streets what they say not the street 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 <laughs> with our hats on protecting our skin yeah that's that's something else you know if you're out and about Especially, Especially in Florida. Really be, be cautious of the sun. Um, Black people can burn. Everybody. Everybody needs to be cautious of the sun. Uh, no matter how much melanin you think you have or, or, or your history of burning and then tanning. Everybody who has skin cancer has had a bad burn. Uh, so... Of, of the kind of cancers that you can avoid, skin cancer, skin cancer is one of them. It's one of the easiest so to avoid. So go ahead and avoid that. Yes. So if, it, so if it means wearing a long sleeve shirt or a hat, go ahead and do it. If you need, if you need um, sunscreen, go ahead and do that too. You need sunscreen. Yeah, just don't be dumb. <laughs> wow, it's busy out here. I guess lunchtime. Well, it is. It's always busy out here, really. Since, <laughs> since they widened this road years ago, it's been like a freeway out here. But when they widen the road, they make it flat. They make, I mean, cars, go, they're using more cars and they go faster. Mm -hmm. so, widening roads is hardly ever the, the solution to bad traffic. Then you just get more bad traffic. You get a lot of them. <laughs> and, usually more, and usually more dangerous. The first, uh, there you go. 
They gotta be going like 80. <laughs> you wanna rest for a little? Yeah, just a little bit. We're here at the bus stop. Bus stop. Looking cool. Kind of. Aren't we cute? We're cute, but I don't know how cool it is. <laughs> But I think a few times last week I kind of overdid it on Monday and Tuesday because <laughs> I walked a little bit further. I was thinking I was uh, 10 years younger when I used to walk the bridge all the way down and come back. <laughs> I used to do like two miles in the morning. Remember when me and Miss Alpha would do like... <laughs> I do. A 5K in the morning. <laughs> yeah, you know, and and we and we were like 10 years younger. And there so, was and there was a time for that. And that was the time for that, but and and it is possible again, but not at the weight that I'm at. No, it's it, it, it's not even that, really. It's it, it, it's a fitness level that has to be attained. Um, there are people who are 310, 310 pounds that. That run five miles a day, so mm -hmm. it's not that. It, it, it's the fitness level, and you know, and the wear and tear on your body after just so while. You know, I know people who are way smaller than me that have hip problems and knee problems and all that stuff, and it isn't because of weight; it's because of wear. You know, it's getting loud. I hear. Well, it's, it's the same. Body. I know. <laughs> you know, it's you know, it's it, it's it's wear it's the wear and tear. It's not always it's not always the weight. It's just the wear. Like they say, it's not the years, it's the mileage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't 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 attribute everything to to, to one thing mm -hmm. or, or or the weight for sure. Uh, because um. There are people, like he said, that I see that can run marathons and do all kinds of stuff, yeah. and they weigh a lot. I mean, so, they're a lot heavier than me. Yeah. And and like we always say, everybody's body is different. What might bother my body, you don't have any problems with. So. Yeah. No just more, listen to your body. No more Snickers bars for me. <laughs> Yeah. Snickers are delicious. Yes, they are. But. And so are Reese's. That's my favorite candy bar. Yeah, but they show up in but, inflammation in my knees and my feet. So, these knees won't take Reese's no more. No more Snickers. And that's okay. There's plenty of other stuff. We, <laughs> I've had enough Reese's in my lifetime for not to have any more. Okay. These things change after a while and you just have to really just go with it <laughs> not not continue the, the, the continuous fight uh, struggle against all that stuff why would you do that what kind of way is that to live it's just, not living just you know do the best you can stay in as good a shape mentally physically spiritually as you can and then move forward and enjoy every day enjoy your life that's what we do. Well, I do. Okay. Right then. We made a block. We made a lap. And uh, got work this afternoon. And Deb's going to finish up. She'll have a, uh, a video for you uh, of, of some of the meal prep, probably. Yes. And uh, we'll get that, hopefully, get that out to you tonight. That tonight along with the vlog from last week and just like always never forget we love you and there's nothing you can do about it peace y'all i pushed the button i was just curious it was just a question <laughs> <laughs> it was just a question it wasn't a value judgment All good right. morning good morning hey, it is friday the 17th <coughs> And we did a little thing this morning. Yeah, we did a little thing. <laughs> um, Matt's backing up. Yeah, he's, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll wait for him to get up. But uh, right now we are at Hillsboro High School Hillsborough in Tampa, Florida. In Tampa. Hill, Hillsboro is the oldest high school in the county. It might be the state. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's the state, but it's it's pretty old. Jefferson County used to be the oldest operating in the state. So uh, it, it may it's still be the oldest thing. operating in, in its original building. But we uh, are at Hillsboro, and we were at Middleton, which um, Hillsboro and Middleton are the two schools that first started it out because they were one was a black school, one was a white school. Yeah, and you know what? And it's, 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 it's interesting because as it as it turned out, uh, Middleton ended up being one of the one of the schools where they was well, segregation had the black kids go, and Blake was the other one where this neighborhood was pretty much Hispanic slash white but you know things have changed in you know 70 years yes <laughs> things have changed the communities have changed everything's changed in 70 years but um i i'm honored to to be a part of what we did today because um i don't know if many of you knew but i used to be a manager of what where of of a branch where i work at and um we i was very active in the community and did a lot of things in the community and it took me back to my old roots. And um, we gave a donation for my job um, to these schools to pay off um, the lunch balances for any seniors who are graduating because if you have a balance due on your account with the school system, you don't get your diploma. So like if you offer for books or your library books or, or if you have a, a lunch balance uh, what they did what we, we did today was that we gave a check to a couple of schools Middleton and then Hillsboro uh, to help with paying off the lunch balances for seniors so they can get off the indebtedness list. I know a lot of parents understand what that is. You, you got a kid to graduate and you go, <laughs> you get a letter going you're not graduating until you pay for that math book you lost when you were in 7th grade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, remember? Yeah, exactly. They may let you walk, but you won't get that diploma for sure. So, so we help with that, and that just eases a, a, you know a lot off parents and kids. In the in this community, and this community is what they call it underserved, underserved, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, it it just you know every little thing like that can help out. It may not seem like a big deal. Uh, oh, okay. I'm turning left because I'm we're going home. Okay. Uh, yeah. But um, it was a it was a good feeling to go back. Then she invited all the previous managers of the that particular branch to help out, and um, it, I was honored because I was the first manager. I opened that branch and worked there for over ten plus years, and um, I still have a heart for this community. But I just don't get out and do as much as I used to. But um, yeah, that was a great time because uh, my husband used to work at that school. Yeah, it was so, one of the one of the first schools that I actually worked at when I started started working in the system and um, spent a couple years a couple years there. So uh, it was cool. It was cool going back. It's it's a and, 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 and as you'll see in some of the pictures, it's a beautiful school and there's something really special about it. Yes. So. And, I, and when she first invited me, because I don't like to go back and step on toes of anybody who's doing other stuff there. Um, I planted the seed of community for that branch. And I, to hear that they are continuing to do all of the things that I planted there, it, it gave me such great pleasure. And um, it kind of brought, kind of made me kind of misty eyed. Because uh, I, I just, I love taking care of the community and things that you can do. Anything that you can do. And now that I have met, uh, what was her name, Precious? Uh -huh. um, I know somebody to contact because we have talked about it within my new department about, you know, going and paying kids uh, meals off. And I had no idea we had a contact person that, you know, I could get with to do that. So... We may just do that as a pay it forward for um, 
this year. And pay it forward is something that my my job does every year in October, where we go out and we serve the community. And anything that we can do, we raise money and um, and then you give it back to the community or you go clean up or paint paint your heart out where you paint people's house and in, in um, underprivileged neighborhoods and different things like that so it, it kind of lit a little fire under me again because <laughs> I've been home working so for so many years now that I have forgot about how, how giving back makes you feel so good so that's what we did this morning that was the morning and um, again, you guys, th thank you for subscribing to the channel. We got subscriber numbers to the roof and engagement numbers to the roof. We really appreciate that. Um, continue to share and comment and um, view as many videos as you can. Uh, go down the rabbit hole. Start going back to some of the videos that we did. Could, could I do this a year ago or maybe two years mm -hmm. ago? You'll be surprised what you might find there. There's some yeah. gems there for sure. Binge watch us. <laughs> binge me, binge me. Yeah. We have some interesting videos out there. Yeah, so especially counseling, the marriage counseling and stuff. The the, the we don't do that uh as much anymore, but um we got what 36, 37 years under our belt. So yeah. we got a few stories. A little, a little something, a little something, that, something. And my husband is a look at his truck. I see it. So you just got a big old truck and I got it, I'm driving. Yeah, like I had a choice. <laughs> I love how you wave, go, yay, thanks, man. It's like, uh, you're driving uh, a semi truck with a 53 foot trailer. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna let you go. But uh, they, my husband is a comedian I am not. at heart, and everybody thought he was so funny, and they wanted to know, where did y'all get him from? Uh, no, just, I've been here all along. I've been here all along. <laughs> but um, yeah, so thanks again, and always remember never forget we love you and there is nothing, nothing you, can you can do, do about, about it, it. Ciao. peace be good now.